and I suspect by the time you see Jay in, in August, if this is true, you're going to see a quarterback that you say, wow, he still has the big playability, has all the things that he had before, but now he's so disciplined that he is really dangerous, first down, second down, third down. All right, the Baronet backcountry, Steve Young, stay right there. We'll come back to you uh, in just a little bit as we continue here on NFL Live. A wry smile from Steve Young there. Tim, let's start with you. This made sense, right? I mean, you, you're not going to let a guy walk out the door with his ability, especially when you look at the receivers they have and what else might have been available. It absolutely makes sense. And, Trey, you're right. I think that we saw this coming in terms of exactly how Mark Trestman handled his situation this year. With as well as Josh McCown played, it could have created some uncertainty. But Mark Trestman's commitment to Jay Cutler as a starting quarterback was obvious. And one of the reasons it was so obvious is that guys with Jay Cutler's ability, the physical tools, don't come around very often. He's that talented when you just look at the physical gifts and the way he can throw a football and create offense. I think the other aspect of it is this. If people would say, well, is it the right thing to do? Ask yourself, did the Bears overpay for Jay Cutler? And some people may say, well, 18 million bucks a season over the first three years. Well, guess what? He would have gotten that and maybe more had he been a free Absolutely. agent, which is why the Chicago Bears did the right thing. Yeah, I agree with you. They did the right thing. And I think one of the things you look at with Jay Cutler is this immense talent. And the thing I have noticed about players in general, when you have immense talent, oftentimes you're never faced with a circumstance that makes you become a great student because it's the great student mixed with the great uh, the great talent that really makes and sets pro bowl players and all pro type of players apart and i think uh, you've seen him mature you've seen them do what they have to do to put the pieces around him and i think you're going to get a much better quarterback down the stretch because i think now he actually sees i have to overcome this great talent i have by being a great student of this game and i think you've seen that transition start to happen yeah him. you saw that and to me is you saw it in some of the losses early on in the season, even in the press conference. I could just see his body language was different. It wasn't so much nonchalant like it used to be. You could see him taking ownership of a lot of different things. And when you have a guy that understands that as, as good as my talent in is, excuse me, if I listen to this coach and I start to detail my work, detail my footwork, detail my throwing motion, all those things, how far I can go. And I think he's starting to see that, see the proof in the pudding, so to speak, this year. And I can only see him good, getting better going forward, to be honest with you. By the way, as we said, Jay Cutler now signed through 2020. Now, obviously, that's a longer-term contract to help manage the cap and upfront mm -hmm. money and all that stuff. But right now, he's the only player in the NFL signed <laughs> through 2020. We'll see if he makes it through that contract. Bears season is 